welcome to At Home With. Uh, today we are talking to John Kenny. Uh, John is a relationship coach and he's based in Essex. So John, thank you for being uh, a guest on At Home With, a um, little chat show we're doing, uh, given that we are all constrained to our dwellings at the moment. So we thought we'd uh, bring interviews uh, of local businesses and local people um, to YouTube. So, uh, mm. John, thank you for coming. To do a bit of an introduction about who you are and what you do. Yeah, so first of all, uh, I was brought up in Essex, but I now live in Hertfordshire. <laughs> Just so that people don't uh, uh, look for me in Essex. Um, <laughs> I've been there for a while. Um, yeah, so I'm a transformational relationship coach. Uh, I also founded a, a approach to coaching called Interpersonal Relationship Coaching, which is a fusion of my experience and background as a coach, counsellor, hypnotherapist. I do neuro-linguistic programming and squeeze a bit of cognitive behavioural therapy in there as well. Uh, I have a book out called The People Programme, uh, which I don't have a copy handy to show anybody. That's um, we could put a link to it. Is it available online? Yeah, it's available on Amazon. You can get it on Kindle or in paperback. Perfect. We'll put a link to that in the description underneath. That's great. And my documentary, I made a documentary last year called Forget Me Not, The Child You Left Behind. And I'm actually doing that as a special offer at the moment for people if they want to get a copy for a pound. Perfect. It's on my, it's on my website and they can download the link and watch it from my YouTube channel. Excellent. Um, just yeah, we'll while, give something for people to watch while they're uh, bored. Well, they're in between Netflix and various yeah. other nonsense. <laughs> so that's cool. So John's joining us today. Um, we're going to talk about uh, maintaining relationships in a uh, constrained environment because a lot of us are indoors at the moment and um, mm. you know, we want to be sort of maintaining happy lives while we are doing that. So um, John, what, was, uh, what would you suggest at this stage? Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's it is it is unprecedented times, and it's quite a difficult situation going to be for most people. Uh, you know, you, you're probably not used to spending 24 hours a day with the person that you're spending 24 hours a day with at the moment. Okay. And if you've got children, especially, it's going to be, you know, depending on how bored they're getting, and um, it's going to cause a lot of strain and, and pressure within mm. the house. Yeah. Um, so it's really important that you're aware of that. Mm. that you you notice that kind of stuff might be happening um, and that you put the relevant things in place which are going to help you to manage that. So uh, you definitely need to communicate. Mm -hmm. It's important, um, isn't it? Massively important. Uh, it's one of the things that when I work with my couples, it's, uh, in fact, most of my clients, the, the communication levels it, it are generally quite poor. Mm -hmm. So I would, you know, you really need to sort of make sure that you have a, some kind of communication going on um that you are not uh taking your frustrations out on each other yeah that that you're there to help each other and support each other rather than blaming and looking for ways to vent your anxieties your frustrations um if you're feeling that way then let's talk it through um uh, rather than allowing it to build up inside of you and then you kind of explode or or need to to get rid of it in some other way yeah. Um, I would suggest that it's really nice that you can get out at the moment. Um, if you need to get out on your own, go out on your own too. As, a, as I said at the beginning, you're not used to being in someone's company for this long. No. Um, so, you know, if you've got a couple of kids, each of you go out separately with one of them. Uh, go out for your daily bit of walking or exercise. Or go out on your own and get some own space. It doesn't mean that you don't want to be around your family and your partner anymore. Um, it just means that you know we all need that little break and that our own our own time. So make sure that you try and fit that in uh, at least a couple of times a week that you get that space away. Um, as far as what you can do, um, at what, in situations like this, we often think about all the things that we can't do uh, because we are so restricted at the moment. Just just think about what you can do. You know, can you have family nights in, play games, have some fun together as a group? You, there's loads of things you can do indoors um if you're as, as a couple you know have a special night have a date night you know cook each other a meal uh spend some quality time together where where you're actually interacting on on a on a on a nicer uh maybe more loving level 
yeah um, rather than cooped up all together you know all the time yeah yeah so make sure that you you try and focus on the things that you can do rather than the things that you can't do yeah um and that'd be really helpful yeah there was something else that just popped into my head that's just completely popped back out again um it will come back to you i mean i've been i've been going for runs occasionally i started to do to go running again and i think just for that 20 minutes half an hour just time to yourself and time to sort of gather your thoughts and you know it's just it kind of breaks up the day you know oh yeah that's the other thing i was think i was think that's just popped back in before i forget it again is structure <laughs> yeah you're used to a routine. You're, this is completely broken, your routine. And some people might find that struggle with your brain loves routine, structure, certainty in most cases. Yeah. So um, try and create some structure. So um, if uh, you're going to go for your walk, maybe put, that in, put a time in for it. If you know you're going to do this, put some time in for it. But try and structure your day a bit. Who's going to do the hoovering today? Who's yeah. going to do the cooking? try and structure it a bit so you, again you don't argue about whose responsibility is for doing this that and the other and you're not at a loose end yeah. um try and give yourself things to do yeah. uh, and try and create as much of a routine as you possibly can so that your brain knows where it's at and you're not always just focusing again on all the things that are out of your control yeah that's perfect thank you uh, so one thing i found because I, mean, I like so for other people um well, most of the population will be um, working from home at the moment. And it's all too easy to get into a team where, well, I'm working from home, I'll just stay in bed that bit longer. Um, and I'll just sit around in my pyjamas all day. But that doesn't really help your mindset, does it? In a way? No, no, it won't do, no. Especially if you do it too many days in a truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So you're going to have to get up and um, sort of, dress how you would normally if you were going out for the day you know even if it's just even if you haven't brushed your hair for a few days or if you're sort of wearing the same t-shirt you wore you know for the last three days running you know change yourself make yourself a bit smarter so then you do feel better in yourself i think yeah i think like you just said to get yourself into work mode right yeah what would you usually do what time would you get up what time would you be going in um and what time would you be sitting at your desk or doing your, your, your general everyday things? Trying to try and keep it as normal as possible. So if you would go to work in a suit, maybe don't put a suit on, but yeah. you know, get, get yourself dressed. Mm. Try and get yourself sitting down at the time that you would normally sit down. Yeah. Um, so again, so you get keep yourself in, in a much of a normal space as, as you possibly would. Yeah. If you do decide to sit in your pyjamas all day one day, um, don't beat yourself up. No. <laughs> uh, but just make sure that you say to yourself okay today's been a rest day so, you know I, I haven't maybe been in the best space today but tomorrow this is what i'm going to do yeah uh, and so to make sure that you get up the following day and just don't but definitely don't give yourself a hard time because generally if you're giving yourself a hard time you're probably struggling with some kind of self-worth in there mm -hmm. um and that's not going to make you want to get up the following day and, and do the best for yourself it's probably going to make you feel worse so then you'll stay in bed a bit longer the following day yeah so just be nice yeah. be nice to yourself yeah be kind generally yes <laughs> you know um so going back to to um you know relationships uh, if you feel if you find yourself i suppose you find a point where you're kind of not getting on each other's nerves but you know if there's if you can feel there's like a little potential flashpoint brewing best advice to sort of back away yeah, when, you, when there's no way to back away too, I guess, again, you, you get some space. Yeah. Uh, so communicate. You really need to communicate. So if you feel like there's something coming, just say, come up with, this is going to this is gonna explode soon. Let's sit down and talk about what we need to talk yeah. about to get this resolved. Yeah. Um, generally, we know when we're building up to some kind of uh, uh, point when it's all going to get out of hand. So mm. try and uh, address those before they happen. Yeah. Um, Throw a joke in somewhere, you know. Yeah. Try and make some, something a bit fun. Yeah. Let's do something fun, you know. Yeah. Let's um, go out in the garden and have a water fight this weekend in, in while it's really hot. Yeah. Um, you know, something that's going to break up the the negativity that might be going on. Mm. Yeah. Sensible. Sensible. Yeah. Um, so going on, um, we mentioned communication earlier. I mean, given where we are at the moment, we're 
isolated away from our friends and family um, mm. and our wider circle, obviously uh, in, in business circles or relationship circles. Um, it's important to maintain the communication at this point, isn't it? Otherwise we're kind of going to get isolated from everyone yeah, once yeah. we're back to normal. Yeah. I mean, you've got this is ideal, isn't it? This is Zoom, you know, yeah. it's, it's not face, it's face to face, but you're not obviously in physical contact, but yeah. you know, it's, it's free to sign up to something like this. You've got Skype, you've got FaceTime, you've got Messenger, you've got... How are you got people using now as well? Yeah, yeah. Well, someone was asking, telling me about that last night that they were signing on to a, to a party this evening, actually, yeah. To, yeah. with all of their friends. They're all gathering. In fact, last, last week, she even managed to have a hangover on Saturday because they'd had a proper party. Yeah. <laughs> a proper party. So. <laughs> I read something uh, this morning. Um, there was a police officer being called to go to someone's house because the neighbourhood had said that it sounds like they've got people around and they're having a having a do. Mm -hmm. um, they'd seen the lady that lived in the house all dancing around the kitchen. Um, so the police officer went round to the house and went in, to, you know, expecting to see like a, a party mm. going on. And it turns out the lady that lived there was just dancing with her cat. <laughs> and she was um she was just talking to her friends on this house party app. Mm. Um, and then he said, Oh, you're not doing anything wrong. So he stayed for a bit and then he left. Yeah, um, joined in. <laughs> he joined in, yeah. <laughs> basically. Um, so and I think people are being more cautious about, you know, they're, they are sort of phoning through saying, You know, this is thing going oh, on. Okay. Go have a okay. Turns out that it's just people just trying to be normal but using their phones rather than anything else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a t thank goodness for technology, right? Yeah, at the moment. I mean, if it happened say ten years ago, we'd be sat there with the newspaper. Yeah, we would. We would be struggling. The phone lines would be going off crazy, wouldn't they? Yeah, uh, yeah, we'd be able to do anything. Yeah, I mean, at least like you said, we can see each other. Yeah, we can interact with each other. We can have a proper like. I can see how you feel. Mm. and see what's going on. We can. Like you said, we could play music together, we could dance together. It's, there's loads of things we can do. Yeah. Uh, and again, that's what, kind of the point I made earlier. Think about what you can do. But yeah. keep in touch with those people that you really want to keep in touch with mm. um, so you don't feel so isolated. There's so many different ways you can, you can keep, keep in touch with people. So just, you know, don't be afraid just to pick the phone up or take a video call. Yeah. Most people are in the same boat. Mm. Um, on the other hand, that I would say that if you are, there are people in your life that you're actually wanting to get away from, this is a really good time for you good to maybe <laughs> break that communication. If you feel like there are people that you have to call the time or that you have to have relationships with. Yeah. Um, I do work obviously a lot with people that are in unhealthy relationships. Yeah. Um, and this is a good time to be, give yourself some space that you might need in order to recognize actually you do feel better not being in their company. Yeah. or having to spend any time with them. So also think about that. Are there people in your life that this is a good opportunity for you to kind of take a step back from as well? Yeah, yeah, oh, perfect, perfect. So John, if, is there, if there is anybody watching um, who feels they could benefit from your um, services, for the better mm. word, um, how can they find you? Uh, so probably the best way to find out about me and what I do is just to go to my website, which is uh, www.johnkennycoaching.com. Uh, you can find me all over social media. Uh, just put John Kenny or John Kenny Coaching in and I'll, I'll pop up somewhere. Yeah, 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 no worries. And maybe they'll stumble across your documentary as well. <laughs> yeah, get on there. It's on, it's on the website. Just go to the website and look for resources and events. There's a nice list there. You can read all my blogs there too. There's yeah. a few things on there about having healthy relationships and unhealthy relationships, which are, could be really useful in this kind of current environment as well. Yeah. Um, but, uh, and all the profits for the documentary go to uh, go towards affordable uh, counselling services as well. So. Great. Thanks, John. So um, what are you going to be doing uh, for the rest of the time? Now you, we are locked away. <laughs> uh, so I'm luckily enough that I've got a garage. Just we've got my gym in. Nice. So uh, I'm keeping myself fit by going into the gym. I live luckily as well. You know, actually, it's not lucky. This is by choice. This is life choices. Um, I also live around the corner from a from a forest, so I've got plenty of outdoor space if I want to go for a walk. Yeah. Uh, 
I work from online a lot anyway with my clients. I've got clients dotted around the country. Yeah. So this is nothing unusual for me. So I'm, um, I'm doing the best I can just to keep it as normal as possible. And this weekend, I think I'll get the sun lounger out and do a bit of sunbathing. Sounds good. <laughs> They're expecting warm weather this weekend. Yeah, I reckon 20 degrees and sunny on Sunday. So you'll find me in the garden. Nice. With your iPad doing this kind of thing with clients. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not on Sunday. <laughs> no, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. John, thank you. We'll, we'll wrap it up there, but we'll put links to your uh, web page, the documentary and the blogs down there. Awesome. So if anybody Great wants stuff. to check John out, then uh, feel free. And um, Yeah, just drop me a question. There's a contact form on my website. If you've got anything to ask, even if you're not interested in coaching, but you've got a specific question, yeah. just uh, drop it to me. I'm happy to help anybody in these times. It's, it's, diff it's a very difficult space for a lot of people. Brilliant. Thank you, John. You're a gentleman. Thank you. Thank you.